A church group in Gaston County fighting to protect the homeless. Community members are rallying around a Gastonia pastor known for serving the homeless. A church that houses and serves the homeless population in Gastonia has run into legal troubles with the city. Gastonia neighbors are making a passionate plea to city leaders tonight to keep the doors of a church open, Faith, Love, and Hope Community Enrichment Ministries. Since 2003, its pastor, Moses Colbert, has helped feed and preach to people with no place to stay. He's also allowed them to sleep in tents and makeshift houses on the property. City leaders say the church was in violation of city ordinances. The city says Pastor Moses Colbert is not allowed to operate a homeless shelter on property zoned for a church. It said the city will ask a judge for a mandatory injunction banning camping. But now the city is suing the church, fining them thousands and threatening to shut the whole operation down. The church is now facing a lawsuit and nearly $60,000 in fines after the city of Gastonia says their operation has violated several rules. Pastor Moses says he's facing $60,000 in zoning fines from the city. The city asked the judge to clear the site out, they say because of concerns over trash. People that stay here and are supporters of the church said that the enrichment that this place has provided their life has been more than what the city has ever done for them. That is why they want it to stay around. We're just saving lives. We're serving our neighbors. They are hurting and they're confused and they need help. He's providing them with education, with rehab. He's providing them with every aspect of what they need to help them get themselves back on their feet so they can become productive, happy, and healthy members of society. I see them as, as obstacles. I see them as opportunities. They see them as liabilities. I see them as assets. We're not bad people like you think we are. I mean, we're good, loving people. I have nowhere to go. That's Jeffrey Stevens. He says he's been homeless since January. In that dark time, one thing he says lifted him up. The church allowed us to stay there. Um, they fed us, clothed us, gave us a place to take a shower. <clears throat> During a public hearing Tuesday night, church members aired out their concerns to city leaders directly. I'm asking you for your help. Some worry if the city shuts down the operation altogether, close to 100 people will have nowhere else to turn. What happens when they shut this down and these 75 to 125 people have to go? Because they're coming to your backyard. They're coming to the woods behind your house. One, please help him keep his place open for us. After the other complaining and trying to shut a church down when they're lending a hand. Supporters making passionate pleas to Gastonia City leaders Tuesday night to help their church not punish it with fines. Why are you punishing a man and his congregation for solving the homelessness crisis and helping those in need? We need to help the people that can't help themselves. And I'm asking you for your help. It's been said in the past that I'm hard to deal with. I'm not. It's been said in the past that I break the rules. I don't. The ministry is facing more than fines, but questions over safety. First responders have been called more than 300 times to 418 North Oakland Street in the past year. Supporters argue it's a reflection of the city's failures, not the church's. But we're doing anything to help them? No. You realize we had a person die this week on our property? I bet you, you members up there can't say yes, you knew. Because you didn't know. Because you don't care. You know, it looks like that I'm being discriminated against, and it's not just me that you're hurting, it's these people that are, get, that, that are bearing the brunt of it. Everybody's family got somebody that's homeless. Everybody's family got somebody that's on drugs. Everybody's family's got somebody that's battling with mental health disease. It's, it's just terrible you're just trying to make kick us off this land. I mean, we have nowhere to go. I mean, the operator of Faith, Hope, and Love Ministries says he will ask the city not to give up on the people here and his plan to turn these trailers into classrooms to educate people with few other options. Faith, Hope, and Love Community Enrichment Ministry says caring for the most vulnerable is what they're all about. We need the city government to get on board and help us to help these people because they're not doing it. Pastor Moses says if the city enforces the $60,000 fine, he's worried he will lose his church and ministry.